Jessica Hawk. I'm the COO of CapEx Global. Uh, we are a software development company and been working with merchants since 2016, very early on um, in the Total View evolution. Um, our focus has been working on adding a new feature functionality to the existing system and extending its reporting and data capabilities. So uh, we were initially brought in to advise them on the existing stack that was underneath TotalView. So um, as most companies have uh, evolved over the last decade or so when it comes to digital technology, um, there are shortcuts taken all over the place as you're trying to just get something out to market. And uh, the company had come to the point where they felt like it was time to take a pause, which not all companies do, so it's, it's, it's always a good idea, and assess the quality of the underlying code base because they were growing so much, they recognized that eventually it would get a little difficult to maintain. So our um, initial engagement with them was really just to look under the covers. Um, so we brought a couple of our software engineers in to uh, evaluate the code base. And we like to think of ourselves as um, the software developer's consultant. That's not always an easy road. Um, not uncommon for software engineers to think, I don't really need this help, I'm good. Why is my boss bringing these consultants to the table? Um, but our approach has always been to partner with those folks and uh, think about it as an enabling opportunity for them and we really strive to leave them stronger than they were when we got there. So we found some things that we thought could benefit from a more modern approach to software development that would position merchants very nicely to move into an agile methodology, which would allow them to get out of the sometimes very painful um, waterfall approach of doing software projects, which traditionally meant spending six months gathering requirements, spending 12 months building it, and then spending another two to three months trying to get it out to production, and then you find out what your customers think. Um, uh, everybody in, in leadership over the last few years has recognized that that's not the optimal way to innovate uh, for customers and to not always expect that you know better. Um, so it's better to get things out early and often and get that feedback that you're doing. So we modernized that framework and we continue to work on it. It's a never ending um, cycle of innovation back into the product, but uh, we have delivered over seven modules of feature functionality into Total View today. It's an interesting conversation because technology is evolving, particularly with the introduction of the cloud platforms. So 10 years ago or even five years ago, um, a customer would come to us and they would need the end-to-end -end solution envisioned, designed, developed, tested, delivered. Today we focus more on uh, custom solutions for our customers that are about a differentiated in customer experience. Because the reality is the technology underneath it is getting easier. The marketplace is uh, uh, larger for talent, people who can do software development. So our role has shifted from we're here just to code to we're here to uh, advise on how to provide a better end experience, which often lands in the UI the UX, the user design conversation, which are relatively new um, and emerging technologies. So I say we do focus on custom solutions, but that focus has shifted from just build it soup to nuts to the cloud makes it a lot easier to get feature functionality out. So we get to spend more time talking about why TotalView is a better fleet management solution because we've really honed in on the user experience. We uh, are very proud of our user experience practice. We launched it two years ago. Uh, our custom application uh, practice was is quite large. It's well over half of our company. Um, and we kept noticing a trend where customers were saying, okay, yes, we, we get the stack, we get the web app development, we understand the data components. We really want to spend time on these portals, the, the end user experience. So we do a lot of business with B2B organizations, and it's all about improving the exchange and automating the exchange of data between these two companies. So as the request for that level of support continued, initially we responded to that by spending more time developing and recruiting what you would consider a traditional UI developer, which is somebody who can code that front end experience. But as we developed more mature relationships with customers like Merchants Fleet, we discovered that it was really more of a, uh, almost a strategic business consulting conversation. It's thinking about how to have that often pretty uncomfortable conversation about changing the way the thing looks. Like that is, that can get conference room wars going faster than anything. Um, so you need kind of a, a different type of consultant who can really come in and help folks come to the table, get over the 
perceptions they had when they walked into the room and and talk collaboratively about the way they are interacting with this product and that requires a focus a dedicated focus of user experience professionals they're designers they're not software developers but the practice leader is both so we have been working with merchants since the beginning of 2016 and the last it's october the last year or so has been the most fun that i've had working with merchants in all four years um, the level of alignment between merchants leadership and capex leadership in terms of the way we go to market with technology the way we think about ourselves as technology companies it's extremely exciting to hear the ceo articulate in a town hall style meeting everybody needs to become a technical person go out there and educate yourself and learn this em embrace it understand this is where we're headed for us as again we think of ourselves as the software's consultant um, sometimes we, we find that we're having to do an awful lot of um, translation and to know that we're working with a company that that a hundred percent is lean, leaning into the idea that technology is the roadmap and that it's it's a mobile first world it's a unusual format first world it is this is not a different division of the company but this is the company we could be more excited about working together